One of the biggest names in football is hanging up his jersey after a historic 18 years in the NFL. Peyton Manning, just about a month out from his second Super Bowl win, announces he will not be returning to the Broncos next season. And now the big question is... What's next? Here with some ideas is WSJ sports editor Jeff Foster. Jeff, welcome. It's great to see you. Thanks for having me. Let's get this out of the way first. This is one of the most impressive sports careers ever. Oh, no correct? question. I mean, the only question left is, is he the greatest quarterback of all time or one of the greatest? I mean, most passing yards in a career, most touchdowns in a career, most passing yards in a season, five M. If I listed all his accomplishments, it <laughs> would, wouldn't be able to go on with this interview. It would be the entire segment. <laughs> That's right. That. So did he actually mold the way football is played today? Uh, he's changed a lot. I mean, how effective he was at throwing the ball and how effective the Colts were in those early years, I mean, changed the game. He came in, it was a running league, and he left an incredible pass-heavy league. I mean, everyone essentially saw how good their offense was under his leadership and tried to duplicate it. And now it's it's a pass-first league, and he's a big part of that. What a great career and what a great way to go out, no doubt. Tiny little cloud, though, in the form of that Al Jazeera TV report came out not too long ago, alleging that some growth hormone was sent to his house, not to him, but to his wife. He, of course, denies ever taking any. Do we know the status of that investigation? Well, the NFL says they're going to continue to investigate it. Um, there's other players involved in it. It wasn't just Manning, so they have to keep doing it. Now, what that means, um, they can't retroactively go back if they were to find some smoking gun and take away what he's done. He's not a, a player anymore, right. so they can't suspend him. Um, he doesn't have to cooperate, so that sort of changes things in, in the evidence gathering process. Um, theoretically, if he joined on in a coaching or a front office role, then maybe that would get tricky if they found something. But um, it's certainly not much to do at this point. Absolutely. So what are some of his options going forward? I mean, obviously, there's that broadcasting career. Yeah. That's probably the most likely scenario. Well, I mean, he could do that. I mean, no one knows football better than he does. He could do that in his sleep. Personally, I think he'd get kind of bored doing that. Um, I don't think he wants to sit there and talk about other players. You think he would want to coach, maybe? Um, coaching, you know, great players tend to not make great coaches. It's too coaches. tough of a job. They like, just, why do everyone's that? Everyone's <laughs> worse than they were, so it's frustrating. Yeah. You know, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Wayne Gretzky, a couple have tried it. I think it's more likely be in that front office type position, mm -hmm. sort of like what John Elway did, you know, his last boss on the Broncos, you know, a real sort of uh, football organization position. He's made some great commercials. Too. I mean, yeah, he could do that. He could keep I going mean, on with that little acting job. He probably will, and he has made plenty of money off that, so he doesn't really need to do anything. So much fun. Who are some sort of comparable sports stars that have done some quirky things post? Well, I mean, uh, Michael Strahan is an interesting Absolutely. story. I mean, he, uh, you know, he's pretty much people I think have forgotten he's a football, was a football player at a certain. <laughs> he's so, so good. I yeah, no, I know. So, so but uh, again, Manning, you know, he really doesn't, need, I think he, his love of football and his commitment to football will keep him around the game. I don't think, I mean, he was a very good host of SNL. He so was. He could he was. maybe auditions this summer. Has he ever made any whispers or any inclination toward politics at all? Well, there was reports that he did donate to uh, Jeb Bush's campaign. Sure. So I think we know where he's, I mean, look, if he ran for a position in Tennessee uh, or even Indiana right now, maybe even Colorado, he would probably win in a heartbeat. I mean, the way this election <laughs> cycle is going, but nothing would surprise me. I, I don't know if he can deal with, you know, all the negotiation and all that. I right. mean, I think he likes to be in charge. So He'll probably just take some time to lay low for a little bit, don't you think? We'll see. We'll see. Don't you don't, he, you don't think so? He can't stop. I mean, <laughs> you know, Brett Favre, when he retired, he sort of disappeared. He's in Mississippi and no one really sees him. He, he came back this year. I don't think... Peyton will be like that. I think he will have a presence in the game. He likes the limelight just a little bit. Yes. All right, Jeff Foster, thank you so much for Thanks that. Thanks for having me.